Hello, it's Commander Ricardo, and I'm coming to you from Elite Dangerous in the Alnath system, which is host to the third INRA base, the Intergalactic Research Arm. Now, this base pertains to be a chemical weapons testing facility. You're looking for planet A2AA, coordinates 4.01 and 133.54. Quite simple to see as you first get in there, depending on how the light is, it could be very dark, so turn your lights on. On the system map, so you haven't got to go looking, take a look at this. Also, if you haven't already done so, please click the like and subscribe button, and that will let you know when I'm putting more videos like this on YouTube. So to save you go searching through the entire system, I'll show you where the planet A2AA is on the screen and that will save you charging about the system, scanning each planet. There are spoilers, here comes the spoiler alert. Let's take a look at Clat Enterprises and what they've been doing to the Thargoids. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Finally, we have a breakthrough. A researcher at the facility in the Hermitage 4A system has found something, stumbled onto something by all accounts, and it's pushed our research forward dramatically. Essentially, it's a kind of fungus, one that appears to have a significant effect on Thargoid technology. We knew their tech was partly biological, but until now, we couldn't find a way to use that fact to our advantage. The theory is that if we could somehow get the fungus into their starships, specifically their hyperdrives, we could shut them down. They'd be unable to leave their system. We could end the war in a single stroke. a dedicated new laboratory so we can properly test the effects of the mycoid. We also have access to an intact Thargoid ship and a living specimen. I plan to test the mycoid on both. Some of my colleagues have expressed reservations about experimenting on a living creature, but I have no such qualms. We must know what the mycoid can do. Excellent news. We have received a second specimen. We can now accelerate the pace of our testing. So far, our experiments indicate that the fungus affects not only the Thargoid's technology, but also their physiology, as evidenced by the degeneration of our specimen. These results are highly encouraging. If the mycoid can hurt them, truly hurt them, we may have found the means to win this war. Several of my colleagues have left the project in protest over our treatment of the creature. If it were up to me, I would have them executed as traitors. Our latest tests were extremely successful. The mycoid can paralyze a Thargoid system, either physical or technological, 
in a matter of seconds. It is extremely effective. I confess, the knowledge that the mycoid causes the Thargoid's physical pain brings me some measure of satisfaction. But when one has seen firsthand the effect of their weapons, seen the destruction, the chaos, the bodies, can one be blamed for wanting them to suffer as we have? have departed for the HIP 593821B system with the samples ready to start mass production. We know the mycoid works. Now it falls to other members of the project to determine how it can be effectively deployed. I know there are some who will condemn me for my part in this project. Let them. I harbor no remorse. The Thargoids understand only one thing. Destruction. They will not stop until every last one of us has been reduced to dust. We have created a weapon that can prevent such a catastrophe. We have a moral obligation to use it. <laughs> 